Welcome to Pert 10 of Scotland's Ain Kingly Hooses. In this Pert, we learn about Chancy Dovit, the laddie king that was a guest in France, a prisoner in England, and a pocky chill at Haim. Hoose of the Bruce Dovit II the Chancy, 1329 to 1370 in. Born on the 5th of March 1324 at Dumfarlin in Fife, he was the A-son of Robert I and Elizabeth of Burra. At the age of just four, Dovit was married on Jean Plantagenet in England on the 12th of July 1328 at Berwick, as the price of peace between the two Kinricks. Born on the 5th of July 1320 in at the Tour of London, Jean was seven year old at her marriage, her father being Edward II and her mother Isabella Capet of France. Just a year after this wadding, in June 1329, King Robert deed, and Scotland had a five-year-old king. Old King Robert's nevy, Thomas Randall Earl of Murray, was now the guardian of the Kinrick and name of it. But it was a while before we Dovit was crooned. The Scots had wanted the pape to send Halley Isle for Rome as a mark of Scotland's free stone and kingship, and at his crooning on the 24th November 1330 in at Schoon, Dovit was the first Scots king to hear his heed drook it in Halley Isle. Dovit had the ill sons to come to the throne as a bairn. There were a handful of Scots lords in England, unfriends of the Bruce, ready to come home and tack back their old lands and just as many Ingalls lords weigh slithery claims on lands granted out by Langshanks. The claimant, Edward Balliol, born about 1283, was the son of King John Balliol and Isabella Warwin, and now turned up at the court of England to fleech the Ingalls king for uphod, even though England and Scotland was at peace. The death of the guardian, Thomas Randall, on the 20th July 1332, could not have been mere untimous. Edward Balliol and his foliers landed in five for ships and took on the split new guardian, Donal Earl Lamar. There were a sharp fecht with archers and lang bowmen at Dublin Muir in Perthshire, where Donal was slain with Monia's host on the 12th of August. Edward had his cell crowned king at Schoon on the 24th September, but the Bruce party made Sir Andra Murray Bothwell guardian in name a Dovit. To Scotland knew had the Twa Kings. When Sir Andra Murray was taken prisoner in October 1332, Lord Archibald Douglas was a painter in his steed and folked on. By the November, King Edward Balliol had to shift south to Roxburgh as his grip on Scotland slithered. While at Roxburgh, he put a seal to two letters on an Edward III of England as his our lord, hecht it soldiers for England's weirs Outland, and gied o'er the Shire of Berwick to the Croon of England. Say for, the King of England had been a private pert tacker, but yince Balliol came fleeing o'er the border in December, after a bicker with a Bruce Pertie at Annan, in his barries and wanting a sark, Edward III claimed that the Scots had loused on England's merches. It was the excuse the English king had been waiting on, and he brack the Treaty of Peace. Forgetting the canny tactics that the Bruce had learnt them, the Scots under Archibald Douglas met Balliol and Edward III at Halidon Hill by Berwick in open field of weir. On 19th July 1333, the heath-heeded Scots geed up their good position and gade ram-stam at the enemy. They weren't just ward, but was slocht up with a langbow. It is said that the arrows fell like a plump of snow, laying the Lord Archibald among the deed. Soon after, Balliol held a parliament at Schoon and forfeited the foliers of the Bruce and in February 1334 he confirmed in another parliament that he had granted a war the hale Southland shires of Scotland for the Lothians to Dumfries till his Lord Edward of England. Only Burns dod cry Dovit King, it was said. 
King Dovet, aged 10, was now sent a war to France to be a guest to his ally, King Philip the Saxed. Philip Guy Dovet, his wife Jean and Dovet's sisters Maud and Margaret, Gaylard Castle, where they held a small court for Scots Utlan. Back home, Dovet's foliers rose up. The two leaders, John Randall, Earl of Murray, and Robert the Stuart, nephew of King Dovet, was both just bits of boys, but they got Balliol flee for a time. The year after, Sir Andrew Murray of Bothwell took over as guardian till he died in 1338. The Scots siege at Perth, Balliol's headquarters, and at Randa in 1339, Yince Balliol had fled. Robert the Stuart took over the fecht and broke his uncle Dovet home for France in the summer of 1340 Yin. We knew the English king had got his cell and snarled in the weirs with France, leading Dovet to claim back his crown. But when the French king asked Dovet for help in 1346, the Scots king couldn't say no, and so the Scots invaded England. Just by Durham, there were a muckle fecht on the 17th October 1346 between King Dovet and the Lords of the North of England. Dovet took twa arras, and in the Stramash an Ingles baron got a gruppium, but no afore Dovet knock at a wheen of the own baron's teeth out. Chancy Davy, as the king was afterwards kent, was taken a prisoner, though his nevy the Stuart got back home and was soon at the heed of the king's council as lieutenant of the Kinrick. Edward Balliol was loused on Scotland in the Hearst, his hindmaced shot at the croon. But Edward of England had Dovet in his horns and thought better to treat with him. The weirs had been ill and uch for Scotland, but a deedly smit knew Oakstart along with them. Starting in the dope end of 1349, soldiers for England fecht in the Scots and the borders, gied this maced deedly smit, the Black Deeth, to their enemies. It is Jalou's nowadays that this was a pneumonic plague, because it spread nae bother in colder climates and gaed fae body to body, wi nae ratten and sicht. After the smitten's book had bagged, he or she deed in about twa days. Yince it had dwined the war in 1350, between a quarter and a third of Scots folk had deed. It would visit Scotland again in 1360 in and 1379, and many more times after they years. King Dovet had been safe ahind the wars of the Tower of London, and Sain, in 1360 in, would travel till Aberdeenshire to escape Loan outbreak. Atween Hans, he was in England, where Edward III proponed that should Dovet will his crown to a son of Edward's, the English king would write off on a ransom claim, and on Scotland as a kingric with its ain rechts, subject till England as our lord. What Dovet thought to this is not clear, but yins the French, and Robert the Stuart, heard about it, they steered the folk up for weir. In 1355, the Scots bait the Ingles at Nesbit Muir by Berwick. In turn, Edward of England broke an army into Scotland in February 1356 and brunt his way Ben the Lothians. But he was weary getting. The same year, he cloch King John of France and wanted King Dovet and Scotland to mark terms. Again on the ploys coming off, the Southern King got Edward Balliol to sell his rechts to the Scots Cruntilum in 1356. Balliol his cell deed Burnless in Yorkshire in 1364. Balliol had heen a good claim on the croon, but it was a way he gave a boot it that scun at me Scots. With the Treaty of Berwick, agreed on the 3rd of October 1357, King Dovet was brought home for a hundred thousand merks ransom to be paid our ten year. The King's factors now stent at the lands, Hooses and gids of the Kinrick, for to raise the cellar that the Kinrick could ill afford. But in doing this, gied the Burgesses merry a voice in the gatherings of the estates and parliaments. It was not long before King Dovet diverted a bit of cellar meant for ransom payments to other projects or until his own neve. 
His wife, Queen Jean, died on the 14th of August 1362 at Hertford in England, and he took a second wife, Margaret Drummond, the daughter of Sir Mockham Drummond. They were married at the Bishop of St Andrew's house in Inch Murdoch by Boar Hills and Fife on the 20th of February 1363. This same year, there was an attempt at rising again the king. Three lords, Robert the Stuart, William Earl of Douglas and Patrick Earl of Merch, had for the most part run Scotland between them while Dovet was a war in England. By 1363, they thought the king fun less favour in them, and it was spending an hour muckle of the cellar meant for his ransom. His second marriage and the heason of the Drummond family might have been another thing that fashed them. But Dovet hired mere soldiers and put down the Stuart and his friends, giving his gallus nevy time in the jail. In the west of the Kinrick, another lord hid, in Dovet's inn, usurp it the king's poor. John of the Isles, he of the Macdonald Kinred, had tained to con his cell re in a title that sour set in Scots says King of the Isles. In the days of a mochless Scots croon, John broke good lordship to the Heelands and Isles, where the king kidney, even making treaties with the Ingles. But Dovet clearly didn't want the four was gone the gate it had done afore the 1260s. At the Hinner End in 1369, Dovet gave North, Daunton and signed Peacified John, making it clear that in his ain, John was a lord and no his equal. Dovet's etl at duking out his ransom payments broke about mere visits to Lingland and mere ploys. Yince mere that was put to Dovet by Edward of England, that gin the Bernless king would leave his crown to Edward or yin his sons, Dovet would be freed on a ransom. But as to this ploy, weirs and nation heed had come for a nuch to undo it. The estates of Scotland forgathered in 1364 and threep it owing freedom. They would rather pay the king's ransom nor thole an Ingle's king as heir. The Scots now played a pocky game getting best, better ransom terms ilka time the Sutherans gave to wear with France and had to keek over their shooters. As for King Dovet, he was maester and mayor of his kinrick. In 1367, he started bigging a new castle at Embra, a lang with a muckle tour that was cried after him. It was Pert Fort and Pert Kingly House with his ain chalmers, financed after the rowth of customs revenues he was new macking. In March 1370, the Bernless king divorced Queen Margaret and had thochs in Mary in a third time. But, when the 22nd of February 1370 in, Dovet deed all a sudden at his muckle tour house in Embra, aged nearly 47. He was buried at Hallyrood. Margaret Drummond seen him out and deed on the 31st of January 1375. Gian Scouf after 1357, Dovet showed that he could be a strong king. He would aye bide in the shadow of his ken speckled father, but in the hinner end, Dovet left Scotland free stonin'. Just. <laughs>